You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Um, that was exactly how I helped her become a better person. I literally, you know, showed her the path to becoming a responsible woman. And uh, one thing led to another. We became friends and we started dating. Oh, uh, I see. So why did you think it was a good idea to date her? It's pretty much complicated. It's a, it's a long story. But it looks like um, she was ready before you decided to date her. Yeah, something like that. I mean, she's beautiful and very attractive. Were you in any way sexually attracted to her? I mean, who wouldn't be? I was, but then she pushed me into all of that. I mean, she... <laughs> Don't say that. How can you say a woman pushed you into... I mean, a woman cannot push you into having a relationship with her. Uh, it's either you start a relationship because of love, sex, or other material things. You're right, but you need to hear this. Um... When I realized she had changed, I, I I thought it was right to tell her. In fact, I told her to go and apologize to her parents for everything she had done. I was surprised when she said she wanted me to go with her. And trust me, when I did, it became the turning point of my life and that of my friend. I wondered of like a sheep that left its flock even though I know I was headed for destruction the anger in my heart wouldn't let me look back mom dad please find a place in your heart to forgive me I am sorry Jerica, I have forgiven you long before now. My daughter, I have forgiven you too. Please, stand up. Stand up. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. I, I don't know what came over me sincerely. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Um, sir. Please, I also apologize for, for everything she has done. I know that uh, she drifted away and crossed boundaries. But I can attest to the fact that she's a changed person. So if not for anything, for that alone, kindly accept her back as your daughter. I apologize on her behalf once again. Thank you. Yes, Young man. Sir. Who are you? Um, my name is Tochi. I live in this town. What about your parents? My parents passed on a long time ago. It's okay. It's okay. From what you have displayed to us this evening, we might as well make you part of his family. Hmm. Yes. You'll, you'll be our son if you wish. And if there's anything you want sorted out. If there's any reason you are looking for a place to call your own, come on, this is your home. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. It's okay. yeah. I prayed for this day. I prayed for this day. I think I saw you changing the way of life. I practically knew that. You get ready to cry. That's really now. I told you to get ready to cry. I did too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's a mini bit of big thing now. Big two. <laughs> what happened? Then last card. J. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I almost warn you. Hey. Okay. Um one more. Okay. Your turn to play. Babe, what is it? You look very excited. What's the good news? Guess what? Oh, come on, Rika. You know I'm not good at guessing. Just tell Let's me. Go straight try. to the point and tell me. Okay. Well, I told Dad about us. You did? Mm-hmm. What did you tell him? I told him that we're together. I told him about our relationship. Ah, is that... Oh, no wonder your mother called me and asked me to write down the things I need. <laughs> but you shouldn't have told them. Don't worry. You need to see what I wait to see. Relax. That reminds me. Dad said you should come see him this weekend. He did? Mm -hmm. Come here. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know you're God sent to me, right? Well, you are God sent to me too. Mm. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> So you went to tell your mom. Mm -hmm. You want to tell your dad? Well, I wanted to send my daughter abroad to meet her brother out there. But she told me she's uh, planning to get married. She said that? I, I, I didn't want to be part of the plan, but um, along the line, I decided to go along with it, especially with a kind of person. I see you like a go-getter. And uh, with that kind of uniqueness, I, I think you make a good husband to my daughter. Yes. And I saw the way they are budding already. I am giving you a job as a sectional manager in my company. Um, sir? And the job comes with a car and a house and some other allowances apart from your basic salary. So you're giving me a job in a house? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you very much, sir. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate this, sir. This means so much to me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank it's you so okay. much. It's okay, ah, see, 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 Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. You have changed me. You have changed me. You have turned me around. Rika. You brought me fulfillment and I want to say thank you. And you, on the other hand, brought me out of the dust. You know, at some point I felt like my life was condemned, but then you came along and added colors and value to my life. Thank you. No, I should say thank you. Uh -uh. I should say thank you. <laughs> oh no, I should say thank God for bringing you my way. That's right. 
して。<笑>You and your family made. In fact, you were the one that pushed them into that mistake. And it was also obvious you were the one that forced to save on the young man. No. He told me that he loves me. He may have loved you as a friend, but it takes an extra leap for a man to start seeing you as his future wife. It wasn't just words. It was his actions. He showed me so much love that no one has ever showed me in my entire life. Look, it's not just only that you forced the marriage on this young man. You also presented it with things that he couldn't resist. Are you saying he accepted to marry me because of the wealth he was seeing in front of him? Well, yeah. If not for the job, the house, the cars, honestly, I would have told her father that I never discussed anything pertaining marriage with his daughter. You needed to see how much I, I, I needed these things. I was desperate to have them. I mean, why didn't you tell her you are in love with someone else? Why did you tell her you love her when you know you don't? I mean, she wouldn't have assumed you do if, if you hadn't given her any reason to. The truth is, I, I wanted her to... I wanted her to stop her old ways. I wanted her to live a good life. I wanted her to, I wanted to give her something to believe in. I, I needed her to change. At some point, I wanted to settle with her. Honestly speaking, I wanted to settle with her until I began to hear stories about her past and how she lived her life. And I, I, I got discouraged. Okay, um, as it is now, have you made it clear to her that you're no longer going to marry her? <sighs> no, I haven't. After, you know, getting the, the job, the car, the house, I went to the village and I realized 
a strong reason why I shouldn't let all of these material things go away. Tojuku? Uncle? Is this you? Yes, it's me. Ah. And the car? Whose car is this? It's one of my cars. One of your cars? Yeah. Ah. How did you get this kind of car? Eh? This very expensive car. How? Eh? It's barely two years that you left here and you come back with this kind of uh, big car. I hope you have not gone to go and do money rituals. So. <laughs> um, Uncle, it's, uh, it's a long story. I, I came to inform you that God has remembered me. Mm. Yeah. You see, I have always known that you are going to be a very useless... Uh, sorry. A very useful boy. Eh? It's just that it's so sudden. Eh? Big car like this. And I don't understand. Uncle, I was told you... You sold your compound. Oh. This one? Yes, I did. In fact, I actually came to pack my many belongings. Because I hear the, the person that bought the place wants to bring the place down and build his own mansion. Oh, yes. That's good. So when are you leaving? Actually, I was almost on my way before you drove in. Okay. Mm. Uncle, I actually... Uh, I bought the house. You, did say, you said what? I said I... I paid for your compound. You paid for my compound? Yes. How am I supposed to believe that? Mm. You are not the one that I collected money from now. So how? I sent someone to do that on my behalf. You what? Yeah. You sent somebody to pay me? Eh? Hey! <laughs> do you cool? Hey! So, give me a second, I'll be right back. Uncle, here. Here's some money. I'm sure you would be needing some money to get a taxi to where you're going. So, <sighs> some money. Ojuku, are you sure you want me to take this money? Sure, it's yours. Mm. Mm hmm. Here you go. Take it. Uncle. Ojuku. This is more or less like a confirmation that God can decide to bless anyone. Guys, you right. And there's no condition permanent. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tochi. Yeah. You are now a big boy. You have totally changed. 
<laughs> I don't think uh, we are on the same level now. I I know you, uh, I will be nothing to you because you have upgraded. You don't have to say that. I mean, whatever belongs to me also belongs to you, right? What's mine is yours. That was then. I'm not sure of it now. Yeah. Are you telling me that those city girls will leave you for me? How is that even possible? I know that the kind of girls you, you mingle with now will be very classy. Girls that knows what's up. Yeah, you're telling me this one. The truth is that I don't have strength to compete with anybody. I won't let that happen. You were there for me when I had nothing. So trust me when I say that you're not in competition with anybody. All right? You know, Tochi, truth is that I have never loved anyone the way I love you. I love you so much. But at this point, my mental health is at stake and I don't want anything that will give me sleepless nights. I'm not ready for it. Give me your hand. Let this serve as an assurance that we're going to be together forever. I don't understand. Uh, Mama, no. your daughter and I, um, we have agreed, uh, we have decided to s s be together. Together. Yes, uh, we have decided to marry each other. You know, mm -hmm. uh, is it true? Yes. <coughs> My son, I am happy to hear this. I am very, very happy. But what I want to hear is the date the date you will come with your people for a proper introduction eh? um mama you're right but um i i have a business trip to make oh. yes i'll be away for one month and three weeks once i come back i'll come with my people and do the marriage rites i promise you have known each other for a very long time now. So I am very happy you're making this decision now. Oh? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not saying anything. Mama, you know I love Tochi so much. But like you said, he should take a step further. Yes. Right. Mama, thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. I really appreciate your kind uh, words. My mother was surprised about your sudden change. I mean, uh, is that not what we have always prayed for? Yes, you are right. But the success is too sudden. I mean, in just a year that you left the village, you bought a car, built a house, transformed into a wealthy man. And from the look of things, I don't see you as one who can be faithful to me. We are no more on the same level. So I, I think it would be best if you stay away from me. Why should I do that? Why should I stay away from you? I mean, what about everything we shared do you want me to throw that away i can't do that but you already threw them away yes for a year 
you stopped communicating me. No chats, no calls, nothing. And I'm sure it's because of a girl. Yes. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. My actions were not intentional. I had to work hard. I had to focus on my goals, my dreams, to ensure that I wipe tears off your eyes. And now that I am back, you should be happy. It's a sweet place If only me and you are We could love, love each other Only we could love each other You mean you engaged Kineka and you still would not tell Cherika your stand in the relationship with her? I was afraid I was afraid of the unknown. Besides, I didn't want to lose the job. I've been listening to you all this while. Don't you why they like my girlfriend? If you cannot tell me a sensitive issue like this, huh? This issue is something that good of all would have put heads together and solve it once and for all. A thought came into my mind. Something I have never thought of all my life. That is the point I want to hear. What did you do? My lips are heavy. You wouldn't like to hear this. If you know how much your life is depended on this, you wouldn't hold back for a minute. Dochi, it is foolishness for one to hide something that is capable of taking his life. Listen, whatever it is that you are hiding, I believe must have been the reason why you are acting like someone who is being wounded. So you better speak. But I didn't kill her. I wonder why her, her sister died. She's here. Hey! You killed me, so you must confess. Dochi. Oh, she's here. She's where now? What are you saying? Listen, I didn't kill you. Confess! Why are you tormenting my life? I didn't kill you. Confess! What? Confess! 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 confess. You wanted to kill me. You killed my sister. Amanda appeared to me and told me she ate the chicken and it killed her. Yes. I can remember. You came back that day asking for the chicken you left in the kitchen. I'm sorry, sir. Please, I didn't know. You, you always come here to kill me. No, no, no. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone.